Hey guys, wait, <laughs> let's start over. All right, hey guys, I am doing a really quick video. Um, I've changed my apartment a little bit since last weekend. I'm always crafting and whatnot and trying to get the apartment to where I want it without going crazy because I might be moving soon. But I got some artwork, just, and then I also added another like little lipstick jewelry organizer thing and some more artwork um, as of this morning. Okay, side note, all right. So I had my birthday a couple of weeks ago and I went to Sephora in Ulta, of course, to treat myself. And I haven't done any sort of like review or haul or written about anything yet. So I've had this stuff for like a couple of weeks and I haven't been able to play with it and it's driving me crazy. So I figured I'd do a haul video and like at least just show you guys and kind of talk through why I got some stuff um, and just how stuff kind of landed in the cart. Like that always happens when you go to Sephora and Ulta. Um, and then I'm not sure like, how I'm going to follow up. I'll definitely write like a quick something on the blog about it. But I don't know if I really want to kind of try this stuff out over the next couple of weeks or if I just kind of want to wear it and enjoy it. So that's the part that I'm still trying to figure out, right? Because some stuff it's good to do a review on because if it's like a really popular product or it's something that you know, um, not that you know, but there may not be as many reviews, especially for women of color that are out there. So if I can do like a first impressions and then wear it for a couple of days and then get back to you guys on how it works, then that's also really valuable. But then there's just some stuff where I just want to like get the nice like pretty video or pristine picture of it and then play with it and not talk about it again. So we'll, we'll see what this turns into. You guys let me know what you think might be a good mix for all the stuff that I got. So, all right. So let's do Ulta first. I have the bag in front of me. So I'm just going to ruffle through it. And also I'm sitting in my living room slash kitchen again so the city is making noises just i apologize if it gets loud but all right so the first set of things not the first set one of the things i kind of just threw in the cart as i was like hey it's my birthday spend all the money we don't have bills to pay um i got a couple of the brushes from the real techniques ooh, um real techniques bold metals collection sorry for the glare I got four of them. I'm debating getting the powder brush offline because they were sold out in store. It was buy one, get one 50% off. So I got the flat contour brush. I don't know if you guys can even see it with the glare. Yeah. Flat contour brush. The oval shadow shadow brush. And then, should be two more. The tapered shadow brush. It's not this one. One of them kind of has really sour reviews on Alta's website, but that's okay. It's this one. It's a triangle concealer brush. I think after, there is also the lip liner and the big powder brush. I really want the powder brush. I don't really use lip um, brushes. I'm gonna start though, so I can just learn how to use them. Um, I think what I'm gonna do after I get the rest of the set is just put them up somewhere. I have no intention on using these. So it was a necessary purchase. <laughs> All right, let's see what's, what's next. Oh, let's do this one. So I am trying to get my eyebrows together, just like everyone else is trying to get their lives together. And so I've never bought anything from Anastasia Beverly Hills before. And I was like, well, I might as well just get my eyebrows on fleek for 2016. So I ended up getting the Brow Wiz in, I want to say this is color Ebony. I was thinking about getting, I think it's like the jet black one, because I'm used to just filling it in with a black pencil and then a like, no, no dark brown, I'll say, um, eyebrow gel. So we'll see. We'll see how dark this is. I might end up going back and getting black, but I'll let you guys know what happens with that, potentially. And another thing that I just kind of threw in the cart. Okay, so wait, back up, story time. So I have been looking at a couple of different foundations that I wanted to try this year. Um, like one, like all the big hitters that people are obsessed with right now. So Lancome, Estee Lauder, YSL, Laura Mercier starting to creep in there a little bit, Stila, Too Faced, like people are definitely coming out with the better than skin foundations right now. So I wanted to try them out, not necessarily when they first came out, but do research, wait for some videos to come out. I'm not my on. And when I was in 
also I was like, well, I have some time to kill. Like, I'll just ask questions, find a friend, someone will help me. Um, so that's what I, most of these other purchases came from. Just bonding with the lady who helped me um, and just asking her opinions on things. And I was just like, screw it, it's my birthday. I'm without in the cart. So let me just read this one real quick. And I'll take these glasses off because the whole glare thing is getting a little annoying. So this is the Mario, what is it? Badescu? I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. It is the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. And this thing was like seven bucks, but it's selling like hotcakes. Um, I think how I'm going to use this is after I wash my face in the morning before I put on my primer if it's during the work week, because I usually don't wear makeup on the weekends. Well, I will now with the, oh, excuse me, I will now with the blog, but I think I'll spritz this on my face first and then put my primer on and then just on the weekends. Again, after I wash my face, at least spritz with this. All right. Yeah, this should be good. I'm excited. It's definitely not necessary, but why not pamper yourself? Another, oh, I got some freebies. So let's do this one next. All right, this is like a mini story time. So I really wanted the Lancome line to work out. So they have, I know they have like the Miracle Cushion and they have, Oh, and I can't remember the name of the really popular foundation right now. Anywho, selling like hotcakes. Um, and I went and tried, I didn't try the Miracle Cushion. I tried the liquid foundation formula and we couldn't find a good, like a good match for me. It was really annoying. So I don't have makeup on right now, which is actually perfect. Um, so like you can see the middle part of my face is lighter. The outside of my face is darker uh not necessarily as dark as my chest but even with my chest right like just this portion and like my neck in here is darker like the rest of my chest is lighter it matches the middle of my face so i'm used to wearing like a concealer color that's different than two foundation colors that i have that i have two different powders and now it's three powders because i just discovered how amazing airspun was for beating your face so when i went to lancome i was like okay I would prefer this year to try and find one foundation that matched the majority of my face, especially the middle portion, because I can always bronze out, up, excuse me, the outer portion of my face. And then when you put on the contour and the highlight, like it's easier to match for me with the inner part of my face. Um, and I'm not usually looking for like full coverage during the day. So if I start by putting my foundation on the middle of my face, right, that's where the, the largest concentration is. And then just kind of brushing it out towards the outer part. When I put the darker powder on top it looks more natural than just putting the same amount of foundation all over my face and then trying to put that darker color on top that's a little trick that i've learned but i when i went into the store i already had my makeup on because i was coming in after work and so the foundation colors weren't working and it was really the undertones we for whatever reason the cool and neutral and warm undertones they just weren't working out with the like appropriate shades of brown and I'll go online and if I end up doing a blog post about this powder in particular, which I should, um, I will. Yes, I'll do that because my purchase from Sephora, I was like, all right, I have to do a post on this. So I'll show you guys that in a minute. And like, it's good for people to see how it looks on different skin tones, right? Especially with my, my situation. So, and I'll, I'll write down, I'll, I'll try and figure out which ones I tried in the store. But this powder I don't necessarily know if I will use it on its own but it looked really great when I set it over my makeup that I already had which is nice because I can work it into my collection so the color that I got was 500 suede w um, and the packaging is just really pretty all right we're gonna open this up I died over the packaging it was one of those when I saw it and I usually I'm not a packaging person I saw it and I was like yes please I want to take this home I want this to be my new best friend. Woo, get the glare off. Like this is everything and more. So I'll also show you kind of the color as well. So this is reading way cooler than how it is in, in real life. So I'll post a nice picture of it on the blog. Gorgeous packaging. <laughs> Pretty packaging, man. Like the brushes that I got, I didn't need these. They just look cute. So in my new dream apartment slash home that I'm going to move into, I will have a beauty room where I can just display all the pretty packaging. So, all right, cool. Next one. 
soups late to the game with this, but I got the Lorac, Lor excuse me, Pro Palette. And I kind of dabbled in this a little bit when I went out for my birthday because we had to hit the club or two clubs actually that night. So, I, I mean, I played around with it. I haven't really figured out what all I'm interested in doing with it yet, but this particular set came with the behind the scenes eye primer. So, and again, like, because I'm not the first person doing a review on this, I don't really know if this is something that I'll review or just, maybe I'll just write a blog post about it for stuff that isn't as popular. I'm not as popular, just not as new. I might just end up doing a blog post about it. So I can do like the swatches on my hands, do a couple of looks that I was thinking about doing just to give people an idea of like how I would wear it at work or how I would wear it if we're going out, like all that good stuff. And then when I got the the Lancome um, dual finish, and this is also wet to or dry to wet, wet to dry. However, did you say it? So that was a nice little plus. Um, I got some freebies. So I got an eyelash curler. I got the Genifique Advanced um, Youth Activating Concentrate. And then I got the La Base Pro. So it's a perfecting makeup primer with a smoothing effect and it's oil free. So cool, free stuff. And then a couple of other things. The birthday gift for this year is by Benefit and it is their Roller Lash Super Curling and Lifting Mascara. So that's nice. I'm trying to not blind you guys. And then two more things. Yeah. So these were, no, <laughs> I was standing at the checkout counter and I was like, oh, more stuff. I'll put it in the cart. This is the Photo Finish Primer Water by Smashbox. So I ran out of one of my primers. I don't remember which one. Anywho, I'm experimenting with primers this year. So I'll try a primer water. I know they also have a primer oil, which is interesting. I might also get into that. And the last thing that I got, it was the Pure Cameo Contour Dual Ended Contour Foundation. Oh, it's a foundation. I thought it was just a regular contour stick, but that's cool. This also comes with a sponge. And I, so the lady was who was helping me just kind of like running around the store and I was like throwing stuff into my, to my little bag. Um, I asked her about the, I think it was the NYX Wonder Sticks. And she was like, no, come get this. And it comes with a sponge. So this is in color deep. I don't know if you, if you guys can see that. I'll try and aim it down a little bit, but I'll definitely post a pic or two of me wearing this because the colors are so rich and so deep. They're gorgeous. Yep, this is what I got from Ulta. I'm just going to quickly throw this stuff back in the bag. And then I, so in transitioning to the Sephora stuff, I wasn't necessarily out looking for anything. I just kind of wanted to treat myself to stuff that, like, people like buying stuff on a whim. And then things that I had kind of been considering already. And I was like, ah, you know, why not? So when I got to Sephora, I was like, all right, these are things I've been considering for a while. Like, I'm just going to commit to them and get them. So I only got two things, but <sighs> my bank account felt it. I'll just say it like that. Uh, real quick, though, one of the birthday gifts this year is the Marc Jacobs. It's some sort of an eyeliner and a little cute lipstick. I haven't opened this yet or swatched it, so... We shall see. I'll do a small post on the blog about this one. This is easy to knock out. I've been really getting into Marc Jacobs lately. I just went to the Sephora lip event yesterday, and I was walking around the store, and I was like, I don't know what lip I want to buy. Um, I don't know if I want new pencils, lip gloss, lip stain, liquid lipstick. And I was just walking around, and they had um, from... The lipstick collection. I don't know if he has multiple collections, so excuse me, but it was the shade Mahogany, and it's just like this rich chocolatey brown, and they only had one left, and I looked at it, and I was like, that one. I need that one. I didn't even, like, know which color I was going in for when I went in there, and I was like, you know what? No, I need to get that one. And plus, a lot of the stuff was sold out. Like, it's really nice that they're doing, like, a month of lip stuff, but that store on a Friday night was savage. It was not worth going into, but the, the event was in-store only. Uh, and I'll do a post on the blog as well about the event, because it was really cute, and they gave um, like VIB Rouge people like a little pouch 
So of course I wanted the pouch. Um, but yeah, so I got two things and I am super late to the game on one. So forgive me. I got the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. So in retrospect, after going through this week and trying to do my eye makeup a little bit more, because when I first started working, I like was on it with eye makeup every single day. And then it just got to a period of like the last six or seven months where I would do the mascara, I would do some sort of an eyeliner, and I only felt the need to do eyeliner just because my eyes looked really bare without it and I wasn't used to seeing myself like that. So I really took it down several notches. But I like the idea of what I did last week, which is trying to, and it's completely in line with how this palette functions, right? It's just to kind of like contour my eyes and just kind of carve out space. So I've been applying a darker color to the outer portion of my eyelid and just really leaving this bare or putting on a color that is slightly lighter than my eyelid color. So it's really simple, but I think it really just like puts the entire look together. I've, I've been loving it and it's so quick to do. So I got this very excited. Um, I'll put something on the blog, honestly. And the last thing. So, because Sephora is always crowded, right? Sometimes it's really hard to find someone to help you. And I was walking around and I was like, well, I kind of want something else. Like, let me treat myself to a little Marc Jacobs. You know, why not? And um, I think her name is Jackie Anaya. I'll, on the blog, I'll put out this blog for this YouTuber. She's fantastic. I get a lot of my research from her blog. Um, and she just... She has the, I'll just go ahead and show you guys. She has the Marc Jacob powder brush. This is it from the back. Mm -hmm. um, and just watching her use it, it just looks so luxurious. But this powder brush is like $80. So it's it's hard, like, on one level, it's hard to justify because it's a brush, but like in the grand scheme of life and things, me spending $80 on something like this isn't that surprising. But I, there was a lady walking uh, past me and I was like, help, I need an adult. What do you think of this powder brush? Because I was like, well, I'll just get this on a whim. And she was like, it's the most luxurious powder brush you could ever put on your face. And I was like, oh, then why don't I already have it? Like, I'm, who am I to not have this powder brush? So I ended up getting this. And I'm excited now that I'm learning how to use like the Airspun product a little bit better. I think this will be very nice in the mornings to kind of treat myself every day before I have to go to work. I'm not going to open up and play with it. That's just rude. So I'm not going to gawk and awe about how luxurious it is. But yeah, I haven't opened this yet. I'm really excited. I'll probably fangirl when I do open it and try it out. But yeah, this is all the stuff that I ended up getting. It's quite a bit of money that I woke up the next day and was like, oh, rent's due. Cool. So, <laughs> cool story, bro. But yeah, I will do little bits and pieces on the blog about just reviews and how I use the products. We shall see, like all things, it just kind of has to be figured out over time. I hope you guys like the new artwork. I tried to class up the background a little bit, try to get more organized with the lipstick collection, but as with everything, life is always ever evolving. So now I'm super excited. I get to play with my birthday stuff. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. Stop by the blog if you want updates on any other products that I've been using or mentioning or saying that I'll, I'll put something on the, the blog because they'll be there. All right. Bye, guys.